Hey guys, I have you my Under Armour Sports Train headphones and I have a little bit of a problem with charging the battery of these headphones. So once I uh, plug the USB cable in here to charge it, then this little red light inside here that turns on for a little while, like for a couple of seconds, like 10-15 seconds and then it turns off. But it turns out the battery is still discharged so it won't charge at all. So I'm not able to turn on the uh, headphones at all. So the reason for that is usually that the battery is bad and so we have to replace it. And in this video I'm going to show you how this is done. So the battery is located in the left ear cup. So that's the one we want to open up. And we do that by first removing the ear pad. And you can just really easily peel that off of the ear cup. Put that to the side and then we have here already the uh, transducer. And you see here four small Phillips screws so we want to remove those. And once you've removed that, then you have to be really careful because there is still a small wire attached to this part that we're going to take off here. And you don't want to accidentally rip that off, otherwise you're going to create more work. You have to reattach the ca cable here. See this? So that's not very long. And afterwards we can look inside here and you see this little white plastic cap. Just use a small prying tool to remove that. And underneath we find another Phillips screw. This one's a little bit bigger. And afterwards now we can take the next plastic piece off. You want to do this really careful again because you don't want to accidentally tear that cable. Underneath there we see four more Phillips screws. So we'll also take those out. And now we can finally open up the rest of the ear cup. You can kind of put your fingernail in between here and open it up on the bottom of the ear cup and slowly work your way up. Once you have opened it up kind of like this, then you should be able to pull it down and remove the side. But for me, it just actually ripped off, which is not too bad. And again, be careful with that wire so you don't accidentally tear that off. Okay, so now we can already see here the battery. There's some wires going around it, so we can peel those off and put them to the side so we don't damage those. And then I'm using here the pocket knife to carefully remove the battery from the ear cup. So there's a little strip of glue underneath that holds the battery in place. And when you do that, really be careful not to puncture the battery. So otherwise it may actually catch fire. So you want to do this really carefully. Take your time when you do this. And now you see already here this battery is really puffy. It shouldn't be this bloated. It should just be nice and straight and even. So this battery is definitely bad. So this means we can now cut the wires here off of the battery. I would actually suggest that you cut those wires really close to the battery so then you have a little bit more of a wire to work with later on. Also make sure to just cut one wire at a time so that you don't accidentally shorten them. Okay, so I'm always curious and I'm checking out if there's any life left in this battery. So uh, with my multimeter I'm checking this here and it says zero volts so there's nothing left there. Then here's a close-up to see the model number of the battery in case you have to order it. If I do find a replacement battery online then I will put the uh, link to it in the comment section below. And here some people are asking for uh, the measurements of the battery so I'm going to show you this here. Be aware that this is actually an in inches, so this is not centimeters, this is an in inches for uh, the people that want to find a comparable battery to uh, replace this with. And then it happened to be that I had a replacement battery already at home, so that's why I didn't have to order one. I took this out of a different uh, Bluetooth speaker that I have. So this one happened to have just the same uh, format, the same size, it's just a tiny bit of smaller capacity. So instead of 610 I have uh, 600 milliamp hours. So I can put the replacement battery right back into this ear cup and then I end up soldering those wires together. And in order to avoid a short later on I'm going to use some electrical tape making sure that they don't, those wires don't shorten out in the future. Then once I've done this first with the black wire I'm going to uh, keep going here. And you may wonder why I don't solder those wires directly onto the PCB. And the reason for that is the uh, soldering points there are really close together and I don't think with my abilities I will be able to do this uh, safely or correctly. I'm going to show you this with the last with the third wire with the red one. So the soldering points for the wires that go to the battery are underneath this black goop here. So I'm going to remove that first. Now you can see how close those three are together. You see the black, the blue and the red one. 
and the red one is on the outside so I can relatively easily connect to that one so that's why I'm soldering this on here uh, but I don't really want to do that with the blue and the black ones because they're just a little bit harder to reach and I don't think I would be able to uh, do this in a clean fashion now that we have all three wires connected now it's time for a short uh, trial run so I'm going to connect here my charging cable and you see here already the red LED stays on so this means the battery is being charged right now and now when we try to turn on the headphones they actually come back to life so this did not work 10 minutes ago now before we button things up I'm going to put some hot glue here on the soldering joints that's where this black goop used to be before so I'm going to put something back on there so that the wires are secure also the new battery I'm going to add some hot glue around that so that this one is safe and it's not going to fly around in there now we can already start to put things back together first we're going to slide first we're going to slide the inside of the ear cup up upwards here and then we should be able to press this down into position don't forget to put this little rubber piece for the cover of the charging port in there so you see I first I forgot to put this back in there there's a small hole right next to the charging port that's where we have to put this into now we continue with the assembly you always have to make sure that the orientation of the parts that you put on is correctly here for this first plastic piece there's this little hole here that is uh, that has this pin poking through once you have it in the right orientation put this silver screw into the middle screw it down and then this little plastic uh, chip here that goes that covers up the screw always make sure to pull the wire th as far through as you can and also be careful not to damage the wire while you do this so then the transducer comes off comes up last here and make sure also here the correct orientation in this case you see the L here on the very top end and once we have tightened all four screws here then we can put the ear pad back on there's this little hole here in the plastic that's supposed to work as a guide to put the ear pad back on you start out by putting the ear pad over here on one side of that gap and then you can kind of rotate it on if that doesn't work for you then you can also just uh, manually just slide this this lip this rubber lip over the plastic that's what how what I ended up doing and then we're already done with the whole process of replacing the battery and I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below